हेलो गाइस मैंने अभी सही होप यू आर डूइंग वेल टुडे लेट्स फैमिलियराइज विद द सिस्को फाइव कमांड्स ओके बिकमिंग प्रोफिशिएंट विद द सिस्को एस मींस लर्निंग सम एसेंशियल कमांड्स दिस पिक रेफरेंस describe five commands we will need to rely on when handling various configuration and troubleshooting and the uh, first command is config terminal enable interface and router for example it's often our command line interface here okay Cisco routers have different modes where only certain things can be shown or certain things can be changed being able to move between these modes is critical to successful configuration in the router for example when logging in you start off at the user mode here at the user mode with this sign from there you uh, uh, you enable to go to privilege mode the first command to enable and we move to privilege mode where it looks like this and in privilege mode we can show anything but not change but, but not make any change like you can show show interface brief show like show ip int brief okay we can see configuration or anything but you cannot do any changes here and another another step or under configuration we type uh, config config terminal go to uh, global configuration mode like config terminal or configuration terminal where the prompt look like uh, like this as you can see from here we can change global parameters to change a parameter on an interface like ip we go to interface itself interface for example here interface 0/0 we can do change here like add ip address shut the ip and uh, as you can see it look like this on the interface mode also from global from global configuration we can go to router configuration like exit and check the router from the router we can we can, we can select the protocol like ospf 1 as you can see here we are on router protocol interface and uh, to exit to leave the global configuration you can just tap exit exit and we are done you can just exit so that's the first command you have to master and uh, another command is uh, the question mark or the help key uh, we we can use the command this command in many ways and first use it when you you don't know what command to type for example you just type this and uh, see the commands here like from the question mark I can I can select any one so from question mark I can select enable and go to uh, privilege mode and I can do the question mark again and select something what I can say what I want to do I can ping resume so as you can see here I can configure terminal configure and you can do select as you can see a question mark 
for figure what? Terminal. So with question mark, this question mark uh, command can save me a lot of uh, a lot of time if maybe I've forgotten some commands. You can also use it when we don't know what uh, what a command next parameter should be. For example, we might type show IP. For example, exit show IP and do the question mark and select maybe the protocol or the interface anything. I can type show IP interface and do a question mark and select something else. So the question mark command can be used to save us during the configuration. And uh, finally, we can use the question mark to see all commands that start with a particular letter. For example, I can say show, then letter C and do the question mark. As you can see here, C, another command which uh, appears here is CD, CDP. Okay. So you can use a uh, question mark in several ways, as I can show you here. First, you can just do the question mark on its own. Then you type a command and do a question mark to see how it takes you. And you can start with a, a letter and do the question mark. Another another command which uh, I want us to learn is a debug. The debug command has many options and does not work by itself. It provides a detailed debugging output on a certain application protocol or service. For example, Debug IP routing will tell you every time a router is added to a, or removed from a router. Debugging can be dangerous as it process takes priority over all others. So most of the time we just enable debug as I can, let, let's do the practical here. For example, you have this router and I want to debug and see and uh, have this another other route here. Let's uh, add IP addresses to these interfaces, like here. Config terminal on the interface IP G zero slash zero slash one. IP address 192.168.1.1.255.255.255.0. Pause no shut. And uh, let's add IP here on this router. No. Enable config terminal interface g0 slash 0 slash 1 ip address 192.168.1.2255.255.255.0 no shot okay on this router exit exit let, let me let me enable the debug debug IP routing and this will tell me every time a router a route is added or removed. Okay. Let let me let let me shut this interface in this interface on this router. Let me shut it. Shut. Let's let's check our debug. As you can see here, we have a, a, a we have a lot of uh, pop-up notifications here that delete network route has been deleted, 
Well, this and this. So debugging give us, gives us information about a certain protocol, like here for the routing. When we shut this, we see that a lot of notifications coming here because we have just enabled debug. But it sometimes it normally takes a lot of our memory, so we do debug, uh, disable it. We can disable all debug by type and and debug. and debug all to disable all debugs because when you leave them on they'll take a lot of memory so another command which i want us to learn is a no, no shut the no shut command enables an interface bring it up this command must be used in interface configuration mode it is useful for new interfaces and for troubleshooting. Like here, interface config t interface g zero slash zero slash zero. So this interface, I can bring it up by typing this command. No shutdown. To be as you can see here, it's up. So it's very useful command to bring interfaces up and also to troubleshoot. When we are trying, when we are having trouble with interface, we may want to try a shut and no shut, of course, to bring the interface down, the reverse. The reverse is, the reverse of no shut is shut, it's down. So we can do troubleshooting with shut, no shut, on the interfaces. Another command which I want us to learn is copy running configuration, startup configuration. This command will save the configuration that is currently being modified in a ROM. For example, here, exit, show running, show running config show running yes configurations these are configurations so far and when we do the copy running this command will save the configuration that is currently being modified on in, in a ram like this one all all these commands are in a ram also none has the running configurations these are the running, the running configurations to run volatile RAM and VRAM. So when we do the copy run, we save all this configuration to NVRAM. If the power is lost, the NVRAM will preserve this configuration. Or in other words, if we edit the, the router configuration, we don't choose this command and reboot the router those changes will be lost. This command can be abbreviated with copy run start. So here when we want to, when we restart this device, all this configuration will be lost, but we have to save this configuration in in in, in, in VRAM. To do that we save the copy, copy running, this configurations now to start up configurations for the NVRAM device. When you, when you click OK, you can see here the files have been saved. So in case we restart this now, we'll also our, our, our configuration will not be deleted because we have saved them in NVRAM. So these are just five commands I want us uh, I wanted us to learn today. We'll do other five commands for show commands to check other options. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to like and uh, subscribe, guys. Thank you.